Chirosense is here and welcome to a new video. This time I'll solve the first section of the physics exam of Mombu Gakushu 2008. Let's do it! A body is thrown at angle 45 degrees and 30 degrees above the horizontal with same initial speed. What multiple of the horizontal range at angle 30 degrees is that of at 45 degrees? So the big here is projecting motion. If you throw a ball or anything at an angle theta above the horizontal with an initial speed v sub 0, the horizontal range is given by this formula. d equal to initial speed squared times the sine of the double of theta over the gravity. Since the problem says that the ball is thrown with the same initial speed v sub 0, now we evaluate each situation. For 45 degrees, the horizontal range is d equal to v sub 0 squared times sine of 90 degrees over gravity. And for 30 degrees, is d equal to v sub 0 squared times sine of 60 degrees over gravity. So the ratio between them is sine of 90 degrees over sine of 60 degrees. So calculating finally get that the ratio is 2 over square root of 3. Alternative F. Next question. An electric charge Q is stored in a parallel plate capacitor with capacitance C. The distance between the plates is this capacitor is tripled, keeping the electric charge unchanged. How much work is done from the outside in this process? So the topic here is capacitor. We have two situations. First, two parallel plates with a distance between them as T, capacitance C, and charge Q. For definition, the capacitance is given by this formula, epsilon sub zero times the area of the plate over the distance, and the internal energy is given by Q squared over two times the capacitance. So in the other situation, the problem says that the distance is triplet, so the new capacitance will be c over 3 and the new internal energy replacing values is 3q squared over 2 times capacitance given the internal energy in each state of the process the work done from the outside is the change of internal energy and finally the work done from the outside is q squared over c alternative h next question an air bubble of volume 1 cubic centimeter is located in water at a depth of 50 meters beneath the surface where temperature is 70 Celsius degrees. When the bubble goes up slowly to the surface where the temperature is 27 Celsius degrees, how much will its volume be? Take the atmospheric pressure to be 1 atm. Assume that the pressure increases 1 atm for every 10 meters depth. So the topic here is ideal gas. As the problem says, the bubble of 1 cubic centimeter at 70 Celsius degrees, which is 290 Kelvin, goes up to the surface at 27 Celsius degrees, which is 300 Kelvin, and at 1 atm. In order to calculate the pressure in the first situation, we sum the pressure on the surface and the pressure done by the water, which means 1 atm plus 50 meters times every 10 meters increasing 1 atm, which gives 6 atmospheres. Now we use the combined gas law to find the final volume value, which calculating finally we get 6.2 cubic centimeters. Alternative F. Next question. When a train running at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour approaches a crossing signal, a passenger in the train hears the siren at 720 hertz. What frequency does the passenger detect after the train passes the crossing signal? So the topic here is the Doppler effect. We have the train, the crossing signal, the siren is at frequency f, the speed is of zero of the train, which change in units is 20 meters per second. The frequency heard is 720 hertz, so we apply the Doppler effect formula. As the train is approaching, we sum the speed of the train to the speed of sound. And calculating, we find the real frequency 680 Hz. Now we do the same process as the train is moving away from the crossing signal. Now in the numerator, we subtract the speed of the train from the speed of sound, replacing values, and finally get that the frequency detected is 
640 Hz. Alternative A. Final question is, in the alpha decay of uranium nucleus, what is the ratio V over B of the speed T of the middle alpha particle to the speed B of the daughter nucleus? So the topic here is nuclear chemistry, alpha decay, which means the emission of an alpha particle and the daughter nucleus, where the number of mass and atomic number are conserved. So in the problem, the uranium meets an alpha particle and the daughter particle X, so the mass of them are 4 and 234 respectively. When a decay is produced, both nucleus and particle go in opposite directions, conserving the momentum. The initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. Initial momentum is zero and it's equal to the net momentum of both particles, considering the sign of each speed direction. Solving, we finally get that the ratio is 58.5. Alternative A. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel to get the newest videos. Visit my Facebook page, or Sense, or my social media, just your villages. Email me for an online class if you want, it could be in English or Spanish. See you next video, section 2.